This is a mechanical computer I built mostly out of scrap metal and wood. It uses ball bearings on a steel grid as its memory or tape. The machine moves backwards and forwards repositioning those ball bearings according to a few simple rules but by doing that it can calculate anything you want. It has no electronic or even electric parts and uses magnets, springs, cams and levers for all of its operation. It is of course very slow and even if I speed this up 10 times you can see that this is not going to catch a silicon computer anytime soon. But if you ignore the finite length of the tape, this is a universal Turing machine. I'll lead you through some of the operation now. There are five symbols represented on the tape by different positions of the wall bearing. This is read from the tape using a row of five magnets. The razor on the front here lifts this up to the top of the machine and at the top a grill is going to push that bearing off and into the logic unit below. Eventually it will fall back into a potentially different position on the grid. The white bars you can see here hold the state of the machine. There are two states which divert bearings left or right respectively. Depending on the state and for certain input symbols, the state will be updated as the bearing falls, so the next state of the Turing machine is determined. Meanwhile, the bearing is going to continue down one of ten paths based on the five input symbols and two initial states. Underneath here, there are levers which determine the direction the machine will move in next. If a bearing hits one of these tabs, the axle rotates. The clear plastic lever on the right is normally held back, but can then drop either a short distance or a long distance into the cam at the end of the axle. That lever controls a larger mechanism further back in the machine. Underneath there, this maze of channels diverts the ball bearing back to a different output symbol on the tape. Back here are all the cams which sequence the movements. In the middle is a long lever with a short rod hanging from it. That rod will be swung slightly left or slightly right depending on the direction mechanism I just talked about. When it's pushed down, it engages the track and pushes the whole machine, either back or forward, a fixed number of spaces. Back here is an old windscreen wiper worm gear and that provides a large reduction. And at the back, my only concession to electricity is a motor to run the machine for long periods. If you really dislike electricity, this machine runs fine from a steam engine, as I can show you in this earlier video. So that's one way to make a universal computer out of scrap metal. If you're interested in more, my website is at www.strimac.com.